Okay. Ew. What's going on, everybody? My name is Steban. Welcome back to another yet. <coughs> Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Steban. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys the Call of Duty Warzone Season 4 patch notes. Enough is never enough. It's winner takes all on Mercenaries of Fortune. Sweaty. <coughs> Sweaty. <coughs> Sweaty. Mm. Sorry about that. There's two new weapons out, the Mark 5. If you have the Mark 5, you better be using it. For close range engagements, rocking those boys dual wield is absolutely crack. Don't know when it's going to be patched, but it is absolutely insane. I highly recommend you guys pick one up and check it out for yourself. Super cool. The UGM, haven't tried that out too much. Definitely would give it a shot. Anyways, if you event, 20, July, June 22nd through July 7th, there's going to be money bags, cutthroat, shopping spree, pocket sand, <laughs> road trip storing bodies minted gilded victor and golden plunder definitely really cool game mode they upped the player count from 100 to 120 and then the cash victory is no longer the three or four mil it's now five mil so everyone loves storage town storage town was big in verdansk so now that's back it's, it's kind of on the mountaintop really cool i definitely recommend you guys check it out that's where a lot of the fights are going to be new new tactical EMP grenades, super cool. They disable vehicles for 10 seconds. Um, disrupts enemy electronics, removes HUD for 6 seconds. Oh, here we go. All right, some changes. Snapshot grenade, radius decreased to 22 meters from 27. Like I said, Mark 05. That gun's insane. Um, you don't stand a chance if you're not using this. Here we go. AK-47 sustained recoil slightly increased. AS-44 increased standing hit by I can see here. Assault rifle Charlie. Muzzle velocity increased to 3.4%. Neck damage multiplayer increased from 1.1 to 1.25. Cooper Carbine, recoil intensity adjusted to counter for less resilience on tight grip. Max damage increased from 24 to 25. Min damage increased from 20 to 22. So a little bit of buff on that. Super cool. Nikita. Nikita I've been using a lot. I just got a good class setup for it and I'm super excited to start using it. Uh, max damage increased from 23 to 26. Move speed upscale from 0.84 to 0.86. Nothing crazy there. Uh, max damage range increased from afar from 25 to 28. Assault rifle alpha vanguard. Min damage increased from 20. Oh, decreased from 29 to 28. So a little bit of a nerf on that. Yep, decreased, decreased. So a little bit of a nerf on the assault rifle alpha. Uh, the Voltsurmger Hamburger um, vanguard. Visual recoil decreased. All right, the Whitley max damage range increased from 38 to 40. Max damage increased from 38 to 39. Min damage increased from 32 to 33. Muzzle velocity increased from 10%. MG42 looks like a lot of things changed here. Recoil intensity adjusted to account for less resilience on tight grip. Max damage increased from 20 to 22. Min damage from 17 to 19. A little bit of a buff there, accounting for that extra health. So things are a little bit more snappy now. TTK is up this season. So definitely take advantage of that. Be more alert when facing enemies. Um, hit your shots, essentially. So... ADS transition time increased from 360 millisecond to 410, 350 to 400. Muzzle velocity increased to almost 2% there. M1 Garand, upper torso damage multiplier increased from 1.1 to 1.3. Neck damage from 1.1 to 1.3. So definitely give the M1 Garand a shot. Um, all of these guns got buffed last season as well. So definitely give these another shot to see if they're worth using. Let's see here, Amp 63. Looks like it got a nerf. Got a slash buff type balance just like, like a bunch of balance upgrades there all right some machine guns here we go armor guard got another buff max damage increased to 27 for 25 max range damage increased decreased from 10 meters to 9.6 so make of that what you will so it doesn't shoot as far but more up close damage is uh more for closer combat but it does do more damage if you are up in somebody's face uh h4 blixen yep we all saw this coming uh mid damage increased from 35 to 34 Movement speed scale increased from 0.91 to 0.9, and ADS movement speed scale increased, uh, decreased from 1.5 to 1.45. We all saw this coming. Uh, the MAC-10 min damage increased to 19 to 20. Headshot damage increased from 1.3 1.33. Max damage range increased from 14.7 to 15.6. A little bit of a buff. I'm not sure how bad they nerfed it in the past, but if the MAC-10 is something you use, by all means, use it. Uh, let's see here. Owen gun. Ooh, upper torso multiplier damage increased. Decreased to 25% from 45%. Okay, Owen Gun might be out. Stand, max damage increased from 21 to 23. 
uh, 29 to 30, 24, 25 mid damage range decreased from 27 to 20, almost 25. So might want to check that out a little bit more damage, but the damage range was also a little bit decreased. So a little more of a closer range weapon if that is something you use. So in addition, we made a slight reduction of flinch at this tier. A flinch has been decreased by 12% on all heavy snipers. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I kind of talked, I kind of covered the major stuff. So if this video, if you guys find it interesting and or helpful, please really leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate you guys for coming out to this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Have a good weekend. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.